Alright, 101.1 The Wiz, Bill Bellamy in the building. What up, though? What's up, Cincinnati? My boy EJ in the building. Happy Friday! Hi, yo! To the F, man. Come, Come on, man. the last day. No, I'm happy to be back here. I love y'all city, man. The game, hey, shake it off. The game, I, I watched the game last night. Okay, uh -huh. shake it off. Shake <laughs> it off. We was good in the third quarter. Like, we was we was there. I saw it was 56-56. Then something happened. Something happened. We went... I don't even want to talk about All that. All right, I'll let it know. My you. bracket is so jacked up. Man, my bracket is so twisted, man. I should have just threw my bracket against the wall. I probably would have did better. <laughs> ain't nobody I picked in it. Oh. Ain't nobody. So if your bracket twisted, it's all right. Bill Bellamy bracket is effed off. But uh, I'm happy to be here in the city. Ladies night out at the levee over here at the Funny, Funny Bone. Bone. We're going to have some fun with y'all, man. Y'all been showing me love for the last couple of years. New show in the making. Um, oh, really? Yeah, the Bill Bellamy show was in the making, about to take the game over, you know. It's what gonna network? be crazy. Uh CBS. Oh wow, that's hot. Yeah, we're trying to go hard though. That's what's up. Sure. CBS play. stepping up their game. They yeah, got... you know they like black people. We love them. <laughs> so uh we love them a lot. The color broadcast. We love, them. We love oh, them. them. We love them. We love them a lot. <laughs> love you guys. <laughs> oh so... <laughs> stupid, man. Also, I got a new comedy special called uh, Crazy Sexy Dirty in June. Okay. On Showtime, one hour special. Bill Bellamy in in full effect, full throttle HD. And you know, we out here trying to really, really grind, man. I got uh, my guys with me on the show, um, D-Lay, Jay Reed, Ali. Wow. Uh, three up and coming dynamic comedians that, okay. I, that I found a couple years ago, man. Just being out here looking for talent. You know, I hosted Last Comedy Stand and uh -huh. Who's Got Jokes and, uh, and the Stand Up For Family thing that I got on the internet right now, you can check out at StandUpForFamily.com. We just did season two. Okay. We're going to have season three shortly, July. We're filming another round for comics out here that's really trying to get it. Need some exposure. Check me out at um, StandUpForFamily.com. And people out wow. what we're doing, man. It's really, really a fun thing. It's clean, though. You got to be able to work clean on that show. You got to be able to do family jokes about, you know, your, how you grew up, your right. mom, your pops, whatever. And it's for the family, so that's, that's a beautiful that's thing. We yeah, it's fun. That. We can work clean sometimes, you know. If we, like with me, I I do both. You know what I'm saying? When mm -hmm. I'm on TV, I can't say all the stuff I want to say. Right. You know, I can do jokes different style. Okay. Because this is television. You can flip them on remix. Right. The remix. <laughs> <laughs> you remix it and still make it funny, which is hot. But uh, we got this special called Ladies Night Out on Showtime. Mm -hmm. So just think, this is how God works. It's amazing. Two movies coming out this year, one called Execution Style that I did. Also, I got uh, Sleeping Around, which is a comedy. One's a drama. The, my comedy special is Crazy Sexy Dirty, which comes out June. Mm -hmm. Then in, I guess, like maybe August, mm -hmm. then we got Ladies Night Out. So it's going to be like, it's going to seem like I'm everywhere. Like, you're going to be like, That's damn! It. But you know what? You're a veteran already, man. When did Thank you start? You. To, I remember MTV. Is that the yeah, start? Yeah, I mean, my first big break was Def Comedy Jam. Oh, okay. Okay. You know, yeah, I was the yeah. uh, first comedian on the very first show at Def Comedy Jam. Wow. That's crazy, That's bro. history, bro. I was the kickoff. Wow. The booty call. Wow. That was, that was the, the, the joke that, like, I remember that now. That really, yes, really set yes, me yes. off. Oh, like, that joke, like, put me in the game. Like, Cass was like, didn't even know my name. Yo, the Rolodex. Oh, my God. Like, Cass was like, <laughs> I remember the first time. I remember doing that, man. I used to do that in the club. Uh -huh. And, and, you know, that's how old the joke is, because Cass had Rolodex. Rolodex like, you would have your chicks like this. All right. Yeah, okay. That's, nah. <laughs> nah. You you got, you like, like, nah now, huh? now you don't have roller decks. You scroll with your thumb through your phone. You know. Oh man, damn. Is she still in there? Oh. With her picture. Yeah, oh you got pictures. <laughs> so you know what I'm saying? So at that time, that joke worked because that's what it was. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? But the attitude was right. You know what I right, mean? Right. Cast on a Friday night trying to get it in. And I didn't know that that joke was gonna be one of the joints that really kinda like stapled me as a very funny comedian. All right, now you did do MTV, right? Yes, sir. How'd that come about? Um, MTV came about because at that time, mm -hmm. I was one of the funniest comedians in New York. Like, like just like like one of the up and coming young heads. And okay, what I what I what I was doing was hosting stuff. Okay. So like say. Say I, I do my stand up in a club, then I might host a music night. I got you. And I got, you. I got spotted um, at a comedy club actually that. Uh, they were looking for new people. And they was okay. like, yo, you're a pretty funny guy. Do you like music? And I was like, yeah, yeah. I just hosted this thing called R&B Live. Okay. So they was like, yo, we, we looking for new VJs. And I didn't know what that was. What the hell a VJ was? Like, what the hell is a VJ? They, they don't and and I'm going to tell, really? tell you how ghetto I was. I didn't even have cable. So wow. I didn't even have, I couldn't even watch myself. 
So at the time, I was on the TV. I didn't have cable the first six months. I was like, that's deep. How am I doing? That's deep. <laughs> so then I had to get cable just so I could see what the hell was going on. Then I realized MTV was big. Yeah, national. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you how crazy big MTV was for my life. Right? I did Def Comedy Jam. Nobody knew my name. They knew my joke. Right. They was no, like, yeah. yo, yo, you my man Ralph, right? Uh. Bell Bib DeVoe, oh, <laughs> yo, yo, uh, you do the joke about the car, right? Cut to, I do MTV in six months. Uh -huh. My life changed. I was, I, I remember I went to a mall. I went to the Mall of America, like biggest wow. mall in yeah, Minnesota. Minneapolis, Minnesota. Yeah. Bill Bellamy, or, is that Bill Bellamy? Wow. I heard people saying my whole name. And I never forget, I was in Foot Locker, buying some sneakers. And Foot Locker in the whole, like Mall the whole mall, mall start filling up. Like people was filling up outside the Foot Locker. I'm like, what is? It, there's no kind of feeling when they, people be like, they go Bill. But you, but I'm like, yo, how they know me? That's what I was saying. I was like, yep. yo, how do they know me? And I, I'm not even realizing I'm on TV. And they're like, Bill Bellamy, oh my God. And they kept telling people. Uh -huh. So all these kids just kept coming up in the Foot Locker. And they was like, yo, 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 calm down up. <laughs> <laughs> and I say, yo, this is fly to be famous. That's the first time I ever felt famous. Um, how to be a player. Yeah. Gotta talk about that. It's classic. Classic. Still, yeah, you still yeah. getting them checks for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I like I just got another one the other day. <laughs> I got a how to be a player check. That was a nice. That's Thank you, how to be a player. Uh I don't know, man. It was just one of those movies that, that I just liked the script at the time. Mm. And I was kind of like, yo, I, I think I could do it. I, I just knew that I could bring something to this this character because you appear having I think to me the reason why I think the character works because he wasn't like too fly to not be liked like yeah. too too see a guy like that can't be too fly because the dudes are like come on man I can't I can't even I can't, even I can't even money money's doing too much so I knew he had to be funny enough he had to be cool enough and charming enough to pull it off like to, to be cool enough with his homies so that they, they mess with him he got to be fly enough to get the chicks that he get, mm -hmm. and then he got to be funny enough to get out of the situation. Because right. when you when you rolling like that, you got to think. You know what I'm saying? Now, what was the movie? I can't think. Of, it's also running right now. Um, kind of similar to How to Be a Player, but not um, where you did the the, the, the speech that you wrote. Oh, the brothers. Oh, I love that movie. Oh, that the speech we have me Don't go there right now. Right. But that is too funny. Yeah. Man. <laughs> the speech uh, from How to Be a Now How to Be a the speech from the brothers. Uh -huh. Just so people know, I did not. Write that speech. People will be like, man, that speech was crazy. But but, but the, the director no, Gary, the, the writer Gary Hardwick, uh -huh. wrote that speech for my character because my my character was the dude that was the true, honest voice of the friends. Okay. So like say 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 like if you look at all the guys when you think about the movie, all the friends were different variations of types of dudes. Uh, I got you, you had the I got guy you. who was not the committed type. You got the guy who's the romantic. You got the guy who's the trouble guy trying to save his relationship. Uh -huh. And then you got the realist. Word. I was the realist. The like realist I was story. always telling the truth. If you think about anything that I said that was raw or unbelievably funny. Too real sometimes for your own Right. Yeah. Right. Like everybody wanted to fight me. When I told her, I said, well, your girl's a hoe. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, man, we, we run way out of time. Oh, I want to that. thank you for coming, man. And oh, thank tell us you. one more time. The Funny Bone. Funny Bone. Weekend. Cincinnati Funny Bone right there on the levee. Make sure y'all follow me on at Bill Bellamy. You know, I'm trying to take these followers over the top. At Bill Bellamy. Do not. I am verified. Do not follow the imposter. Okay. Then you hit me on Facebook at uh, Bill Bellamy VIP. All right, make sure you follow us, man, at 1011 WIZF. I'm about to post it right now. At 1011 WIZF. And it's 101.1 The Wiz.